Alright, alright, what's up guys? It's Fentavista here. In this video, I want to quickly go over the beginners level guide, the intermediate and the advanced guide to going uh, full out OP in this game. And we're going to go through what I have, my build, and then we'll jump in a match later on. But I want to walk you guys through from the knowledge that I have right now, been playing this game for about a year now, to um, so we're gonna take it back if I had all the knowledge I had right now back then Who would I recommend that you focus your time on what weapons would I recommend that you focus on and then um, Which minions would I would use and focus my energy on and so on So this is the guide to becoming an OP for beginners to advance and expert level. Let's go so in the very beginning um, we we'll go over here to my knight and ignore what I have on because I don't expect beginners to have this and if you're more advanced you can go ahead and fast forward this and get to the section that you need to um, to get to for the advanced people please please stay tuned because I am going to show you a extremely overpowered combo that I'm sure you're probably not using if you are you probably want this to be a secret but I'm going to share this with the community so let's go with your hero. So at the very beginning, you don't have many options. You um, you're stuck with these three great people in the beginning. I think there's another one. I didn't bother. Yeah, hell, I didn't bother bother loving them up too much because um, they're pretty weak and they're not that great. I would not focus my time and energy on them. However, there are about four that I would. And I'm going to show you the four right here. You have, I'm going to just call her Tit. You have Tit, Tristan, Anna, and Aaron. Alright. Uh, these four, man. These are, these are if, if I was starting all over, but if I only had to pick two, let's pick, let's narrow it down to two. The two that I picked when I first started off were uh, the two healers, Anna and Tit. And the reason I picked these two is because she has the heal ability. Uh, let's just go to her real quick. So she has the ability to heal, uh, to give you regen for three turns, which is perfect. And then protect. She gives you a uh, protect on her ultimate, and she gives you a whole bunch of health as well. And then if you go over to Anna, Anna gives you for one turn. This is the only thing that sucks. She gives you protect, but she gives you a bunch of heal as well. Let's go back to Tit. She gives you uh, 3,189. It's the top. And then Anna gives you 3,000. What is that? 300. So. Hers is, uh, is that 3,000? Oh, that's 3,800. My screen is kind of dirty. So she gives you more. And her base is more to her max is more. Uh, for the hill. And she gives you protect at the same time, which can save your butt for, uh, you know, next move. Or until you get your ultimate, it can save your butt. Uh, and then, as well as her ultimate is burn, which was really helpful during those early arena matches. So these are the two that if I had to pick just the two, it would be them. Attrition is extremely good and I was using it up until re like maybe um, two, three months ago because of his uh, his first ability. It restores a bunch of health, more than I think even Anna, but it removes all of the negative curses as well. So if you had, say, poison on you or acid burn or any one of those negative effects, you can get rid of that really quick. So I would kind of play towards waiting for the enemy to use that effect on me and then use him to take that off. And then the reason why I said Aaron is because he had poison and acid and it's just for a damage dealer very early in the beginning of the game. This is a good damage dealer. Uh, he's... he's I mean, there's nothing else to say about. He can hit you with the poison, 
and he could put everybody to have ass at the same time. And I, I mean, he was just doing a lot of damage in the beginning for someone who doesn't have a lot of strong people. So that's my beginner's uh, hero selection. Uh, sticking with the beginner's guide, let's go ahead and go to which which equipment would I use? So obviously you wouldn't have all the, all this, but I would be working my way towards blue armor you know, or purple. And the fastest way that I seen to do that, with even with the weapons, I'll be working towards blue and purple. The fastest way I've been able to do that, I'll give you guys my secret right now. This is worth the like and subscribe in the whole video. The whole video right here. You're gonna learn a bunch. This is what I do. Oh, oh, it's there right now. That little thing up top, the little media button with the present. Use that every night. It only takes about four or five videos and you have about 10,000 to 12,000 plus coins right then and there. You take those coins every night, you watch those videos, you don't have to pay a dime for this game. And at the end of the week or beginning of the week, depends on what time it is for you, time it is for you while you're watching this video, buy everything in the shop for the first three shops, everything. So you're going to buy everything in here. And they're like 300 to 500, I believe. They're not that expensive. You're gonna buy up until you get into White Peak. Do not buy anything in White Peak because at that point you waste some money, and I'll show you why. For the amount of money you're gonna spend, 10,000, you can drop 10,000 on a weapon that doesn't even have any charm slots. It's, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. At that point, you could have merged or forged two basic weapons and had you a, a common weapon which has I believe two slots one or two slots and then you take those common weapons merge them and then get you one of the blue weapons and then you keep playing a game and then within two three weeks or if you like you open up a box a present that has um, a better weapon you're, you're golden you don't have to worry about uh, low level weapons same with armor now I really wasn't focusing on armor this week I will buy up everything in the shop but I usually buy Usually buy everything, and um, I just put it into my what do you call it? My backpack. Oh, here's something that I I, I did early on in the game. I saved up a bunch of my coins, and I expanded my backpack because if you're gonna go the route that I'm telling you to do, you're gonna need space in your backpack. You don't want it getting cluttered up and then going into it becomes a present on the side of the screen, and uh, you don't want that. So let's go back to the night. So, another thing with the charms, you see I have a lot of uh, purple charms and whatnot. Once I had my weapons and my armor the way I wanted it before this whole mythic realm came out, any extra armors that I bought, I would dismantle to get charms. And I would keep doing that until I had a whole bunch of charms. Then went to the Forge Master and Forge my charms. It's way cheaper to buy a $500 armor piece, dismantle it, and get a charm. Because that same charm in the shop cost you $2,000. That's another golden egg right there. Thank you. All right, moving on. So that's the beginner's level. You get your stuff. You level up. And this is actually... Um, Right here, this was my first purple weapon right here. This is my very first weapon. I think I have a lock on it. Yeah, I have a lock on it because it's kind of uh, like memories of WoW. I used to use this all the time. I thought I was a hot stuff. It has um, acid status on a chain attack. Weaken status on an ultimate attack. And protect. And I didn't know the game that well back then. But here's what I recommend now that I have more knowledge. Here's another golden egg for you all. Um, for, for the newbies. Set your weapons in a way once you have more charms um, available. Set your weapons in a way so the green only has one slot. Set your weapons in a way once you have your purple. Oh, I think I did it with this one. So I was smarter. So my ultimate attack. No. 
All right, I'm gonna show you with this one because I know what I'm doing now. Look at these charms. I have crit, crit, crit for the first three shots, slots, and then my ultimate does a stun attack. But in the very beginning, I have a focus attack. Now, why do you think that is? This one right here is a, is a focus. I could have gone with something else. I could have had protect at the beginning. But I went with focus because focus gives you a higher chance to hit crits. So if I am able to get my uh, focus ability in the very beginning, I'm definitely going to hit that 360 crit for my ultimate. And as well as I might stun the dude. So we're going to look at hitting this guy for crazy damage as well as stunning him. And then if you look at my other weapon right here, so I have acid effect on a chain attack as well as a burn uh, effect on the chain attack. So what did I put in my other slots? Well, if I'm hitting you with my ultimate attack, I want to hit you harder when you're on burn. So I have two slots focused on burn. And if I could have put a, sec a third slot on it, I would have put it for acid. But once I get another purple for... Uh, for acid, I'll go ahead and change this because this is just a common right here. So I'll change this to to um, acid. So then I'll be damaging you 120 for burn and then 120 for acid. And it's just like, man, that, this is going to be a powerful, powerful move against the opponent. But for right now, I haven't really been using that weapon. I've been focusing on this one. So that's my recommendation on charms. Gear your charms towards a goal you have to have a goal in mind so if you have an acid charm have an acid uh, uh, ability for the ultimate like something that's going to amplify to where your weapon plays off of one of the other charms play off the other charms that's what it, basically what I'm trying to say your gauntlet there's two gauntlets in the beginning that I would focus on it is your champion's gauntlet as well as your holy gauntlet the reason why I would do the champions Let's go ahead and go here. I like champions because whenever you're getting attacked, it fills up your rage. Um, everyone has the basic stuff, your health, your punch damage. Uh, I wish this wasn't an axe. I wish this was a hammer. Uh, but it is what it is. It only so it increases your axe damage by 33. But once I figure out the charms with my axe, my mythic axe, it'll, it'll be pretty good. Uh, critical damage you see all this stuff you know all this stuff all right uh, I like protect as well that's another reason why I really like this and it can help you out so and as well as stun and it's this comes in handy a lot stunning an enemy but I don't really use that now because I have the weapon that does stun what I have been using a lot and I wish I would have known this gauntlet was so OP early on is the holy gauntlet the reason why this holy gauntlet is so OP, yeah, I want you to pay attention to two things. One is the alchemist speed. So once I max that out, my alchemist hero power charge charges 60% faster, as well as the uh, the way you gain ability is. Your rage fills up when you're healed, or you, so any kind of positive effect. I'm gonna show you in a minute. This is for my advanced users. If you want to be OP, I know a lot of people use. I don't have it unlocked yet, so I really can't judge. A lot of people use this Maverick, but if you're sleeping on this Holy Gauntlet, I advise you to stop because when you see this gameplay later on, you're gonna be like, "Wow, I didn't even know." That was the thing. And maybe you did, and you don't want everybody to know, but I'm telling you, it's crazy. So let's go back to using my weapon that I like. Alright. So, say you've been playing this game for a couple of months. You have a couple of purple weapons. You forged it. You got your, your, goat, your goat weapon. Let's not worry about the armor. You'll get the armor. You'll get the weapons. I gave you the game plan, the floor, the floor plan right there to get to that level. You buy stuff in the item shop, get up to White Peak, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Join a guild and get your heroes up. The reason I say join a guild is because um, we're going to call him V. V right here, this dude, he's, once you get higher in the guilds 
in arenas, he's what everybody uses. And the reason he's why everybody uses this is because this dude hits hard. This dude can literally one-shot a whole team once he has his ability. So uh, his first, his basic attack is weak. But his ultimate does so much damage. And once you start putting charms on your armor, as well as your weapon, that gauges towards the mage, dude, he becomes unstoppable. So I, I slept on him for a long time. I refused to get him. But I was getting tired of losing to him. So... I finally caved in, bought him, and I don't regret it. But you can only get him if you join the guild and fight the guild bosses and get those coins and whatnot, the little blue stones. So, <clears throat> my intermediate level, the two blues that I would recommend you use, actually, I'll give you, I'll give you more than two. Who should you focus on? Now, if I had to pick two, that's, we're going to stick with this theme. If I had to pick two, the two would be Delphina. Super OP, and I want to say, I want to say Vic. I want to say Vic, and the reason why I want to say Vic is because Vic's basic is so terrible, but his ultimate gives you more health than Tits. His ultimate gives you eight. Uh, what is that? Thirteen thousand. And if you have, like I said, you have charms for the mage. That's more. That's like twenty-four thousand sometimes. And, uh, it can heal me all the way up to almost being like dead. It can heal up my entire health bar and a little bit of uh, my armor. And I've, I've won matches just by using his uh, ultimate. So he would be the one that I would use for healing. And his, I mean, his, his basic is alright, but her ultimate and her base is super freaking strong. And I recommend trying to max out all the characters when you can. Because look what happens. She does more damage against the undead. But, I mean, she's just strong. And, and, like, regardless, she's just strong. Her basic does weaken effects and it lasts for three turns. Which, if Vic did that, his if his basic attack exposed the enemy for three turns, I would absolutely love everything about Vic. Because doing just one turn isn't good due to the fact that if you have an ultimate finish... You can't even use it at that point. Say you use Vic in the very beginning. You hit the enemy three times. You cannot do your ultimate. And it just makes him worthless at that point for his base. No, well, it's just... I mean, but that ultimate is pretty good. Her ultimate will take away the, the enemy super. She's for intermediate and advanced players. And if you're trying to make your way through the realm... Or, or the realm, whatever you want to call it... I recommend using Dell. And using Brutus. It's a match made in heaven. Alright. Let's get on to the advance. The heroes for the advance. If you guys haven't guessed already. I've mentioned him a little bit. But have this guy. In your slot. Always. Keep him in your slot. Your second person. I'm going to recommend two different people. All right, if you, well, three. Three. It depends on you, the way you want to play. I would recommend... Uh, it's tough because he combos with everybody so well. But I would say V is definitely, definitely a hard hitter. But both of them are going to do damage to you when you use their ultimate. So... If you have a lot of health and a lot of shield, I would recommend using those two together. Especially in Arena. They're freaking unstoppable. But say that you want to heal every now and then. I would say... I would say Vic again. But if you're going for heals, I would say Vic and I would say Grim. And don't sleep on Grim. This dude is really strong. His sap life... I know it says... It only does 3,554. But once he hits everybody in that area, like say you're fighting six uh, six people on the screen, and this dude hits all of them, you're getting a ton of health back. So I would recommend him. And then Brutus can keep giving him his ultimate. So it works It works hand in hand. But if you don't want to go for that, uh, Del. Like those two could run through the realm. Rim, mythic rim, whatever you want to call it. It can run through this with ease with ease 
he would keep on healing you a little bit. It's not that much heal, but it's enough to keep you in the game. And then he gives you your ultimate really quick, and you stop the enemy from using their ultimate while you use Del. Those two are perfect, but if you want to go to Arena, these two, and I'm going to show you. I want, this is what I've been wanting to show you. I want to show you gameplay of why these two are so freaking good together. But before we do that, we're going to go to Minions. These are the two minions I highly recommend that you use. Now, when I first started off, this is for beginners. Beginners, I was using Harpy as well as Gaggin. Uh, Harpy gives you heals. Uh, I don't even know why I used Gaggin. What did he do that made me want to use him? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I would recommend Harpy because he can heal you in the very beginning. As you level up, you go through the story mode. Get you roots. You have to have roots and you have to have vamp. That's it. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it. Get those two in your team. Uh, vamp gives you focus on his second turn. Now, a lot of people go after vamp early. So, <sighs> it's tough to uh, go through an arena match and vamp survives. But if he does, he gives you focus for three turns off of his second move. And then roots... Gives you protect off of his uh third his third turn, and you'll have protect for three rounds. So let's go ahead and uh, go into our arena match. I'm gonna show you this ultimate combo for the advanced users, and then we're gonna close out the video. All right, hit arena up, <clears throat> and thank you guys for sticking with me all this time. Appreciate it. I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot. I'm sure if you you probably already learned so much already, um, and this is stuff that I mean, I wish I would have known in the very beginning. So let's go ahead and roll this. I want a hard guy. I want a hard boss. Whoa, boss, hard boss right here. This guy looks like he has all the mythic. Uh, he's pretty good. All right. He has. I see what weapon he has. So he's gonna go after Vamp early. Because he has uh, the undead weapon. That's fine. Let him take Vic. Um, not Vic. Vamp. Let's take him Vamp out. Now here's the ultimate combo right here. Get yourself Brutus. Get yourself um, Vod. As well as while you're using those two. You have to have the Holy Gauntlet on. Have this on. I told you already. That. When you have a positive effect, it increases your rage. Now, I'm going to show you in gameplay how that plays out, how you use it to your advantage. And you will never, I'm not going to say never, because it depends on your armor as well. But you will win so much more, and I guarantee you could run through the realm, uh, the Mythic Rim, with no problem. But use Sub Sub VOD out with um, Delphi Delphina to take the ultimates away. And you'll be you'll be golden, man. You'll be absolutely golden. But this combo right here that you're about to see is, is and you see he has that that freaking uh, gauntlet that I told you everybody uses. Everybody uses that, and they're sleeping on this one right here. Sleeping on it. All right. Let's go after this guy first. It's because uh, Vamp is dead. So no, there's no point even trying to save Vamp. Vamp is dead. Let's go ahead and hit auto. Make it go faster. There's nothing I can do to save Vamp. One, two, three, he's dead. Now, the best thing I could try to do is try to save him from getting killed fast. But if he dies, he dies. So I'm not really worried about that. So I got the I got Brutus already, but I don't want to use him yet. I don't want to use it yet. I want to show you why I don't want to use him yet. <laughs> This guy shouldn't kill my guy on the side. Hopefully he doesn't die. I don't know. He could. He could. I don't need him. He could die right now. This could. He's barely alive. Boom. 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 All right. Got the regen. <laughs> um, he's looking at. He's looking at him right now. So we're going to hit him with the fire. For right now, we're just going to hit him with the fire. Let 
Let him put the uh, protect on me. He's going to die right now. After he puts protect, he's out of there. He's dead. So now it's just me and this guy. The reason I knew he was going to die is his health was real low. But at least I got protect for three rounds. Let him do whatever he's going to do. He's probably going to use him. It's going to take off a little bit of damage on me. But it's going to take some damage off of him as well. It didn't hurt that much. And then I'm going to show you guys the combo that I was... Look at this combo. I'm going to use my ultimate. This is for advanced... Intermediate, if you already have Brutus, hit him with the Brutus. Expose him. You have to have the Holy Gauntlet. Hit Brutus's base move. Look what I have already. I have my ultimate again. What can I do now? I can hit him with Vod's ultimate. He's exposed. Bam! Now I'm going to just play this out. I'm going to let this go ahead and go. The next round, if I can gain focus in the beginning, he's dead just the very next the ne very next hits. But even if I don't gain focus, I didn't gain focus. But if I could just hit him hard, look, he's done. He's completely done. There's nothing he can do right now. Nothing. Even if he hits me with VOD again, he's probably going to kill himself. He's done. Ultimate. Well, let's finish him with a super. He's done. <laughs> Which one you guys want me to use? Brutus, any mini money mo or Vod? Let's hit him with Vod. Let's hit him with that high damage. Bam, baby, like forty-eight thousand. Forty-eight thousand. Dude. He was exposed. He just got hit with an ultimate for forty-eight thousand. And Vod's not even six stars yet. So I'm gonna work my way. I'm gonna. My goal is to get first this uh this week, but I really haven't had a lot of chance to play. But all right, that's that's it, man. Like that's it, and I'll do another video where I work my way through the realm. Rim, what is it called? Is it the Mythic Realm or Rim? I don't freaking know what it's called. I'll make my way through that sucker, and I'll, I'll make a video on that. That's all I have. If you guys learned anything, listen. Put that like and sub helps out small YouTubers like myself trying to grow. Um, and that's it, man. That's all I have. That's all I ask. See you guys in the next one. Phantom is out.